Hey guys, welcome to our vlog of Vietnam. We've been here for almost 12 hours now, getting in at 9 o'clock last night. We come straight to our accommodation and went out and got some street food um, just down the road from us. We definitely maybe underestimated the language barrier that we would be facing. Um, but we did still get what we believe was a beef strew, stew, a delicious one of that. Mm. Um, but definitely a lot to learn yeah. language-wise. Definitely. We'll show you a quick little tour of our accommodation that we're in for one more night before we head off. Today we're just going to explore Ho Chi Minh City. Um, just by foot and see where we end up. Yeah, got to go get our morning coffee, Vietnamese iced coffee, hopefully. So I'm looking forward to that. It'd be delicious. So we. <laughs> I mean, thank you. We're now in Da Nang. So yesterday we made our way across from Ho Chi Minh City to Da Nang. It was about an hour's flight. Mm. And so we got in around five o'clock last night, and then we've just been here, and we're about to take off again to Hoi An. Um, but we'll show you this place we're staying at. It's a homestay and it is pretty nice. Inside.
This is the pool in our homestay in Danae. So we're just having a last minute swim before we take off to Hui An. We are about 50 meters from the beach, but it's just not something we can walk in this weather. Um, we also have no sunscreen, so we're just getting literally roasted. Um, we're not designed for this kind no, of heat. Melted. Um, some Ballarat people just can't handle this. So we're just going to have a little swim and then get ready and then we've got to work out how to get this bus. Um, so Yeah, we just got to find out how what bus stop takes us to Hoi An. It's route, no, um, route number one, but I don't think it's near us. It's not near us. It's like three k's, um, which is just, we either have to walk it or hopefully find a taxi that doesn't charge us an arm and a leg for that. Mm. So... Stay tuned and we'll see Let's how we go. It. Let's walk it. Let's see what we can find on the long way. So we ended up deciding that we're going to walk it. Now we're probably only 500 metres into the 4k journey and there's many regrets already but we have to get a sweet treat on the way and it will be alright. <laughs> I'm not touching it, you zoom in on it. <laughs> we were just sitting here. We're just sitting here enjoying our cafe sal and a little boy who was sitting on the table next to us comes up. He's left and he comes back and he's just like lurking. <laughs> and we're like, hi, hi. And then he drops something on our table. <laughs> We did that and then ran off, but we're not touching that. Um, gross. <laughs> Still going. Still got lots of regrets. We made a bus stop. Just. Just. We're not sure if this is the right bus stop or if there's a right bus stop, but we're gonna wait 15 or so minutes and hope. Yeah. Our bus comes past, and if not, try again. The bus doesn't exist, but we've been helped by some locals, and I think they're gonna organize a taxi for us to get to Hanoi. So we did not get a bus here. No. Um, we ended up having to get a taxi because since COVID, that bus apparently does not exist anymore. However, our bus stop was out the front of this house and the nine month pregnant woman came out and sat with us and tried to get us a bus that would take us. And when that didn't work, they, her and her husband ordered a taxi for us yeah. and got us here, which was very kind of them. And she made us a uh, drink as well. Yes. Really nice sugar cane juice. Maybe. We're not too sure. I don't know. We <laughs> think it was sugar cane, but it was very nice. So that's how we got here. And now we just got to our accommodation and then, yeah, we've been walking around. And it was very busy, but the streets were open. And since maybe, what's the time now? 5.30? Yeah. Around 5.30. And the streets are now fully shut, just full of markets. We're actually staying not in Hui An, but in Hui, I believe is what it is, which is just the island across the road. Um, so we're just going to have, we've had a beer and getting some spring rolls and then we'll head back across that side and check out the night markets.
we're currently, we got here yesterday, so we've got the full day here now. It is like 11.30 a.m. So we're just about to go hire some push bikes and ride down to the beach. We're gonna film. Um, yeah, we got the, the body GoPro. GoPro out. So let's see, we've got caught this morning. I went and ordered myself <laughs> <laughs> Western style food. <laughs> and I'll, um, it yeah, <laughs> and what I ended up getting, I mean, it was only $2, two Australian dollars. Um, so look, it didn't quite fill me. It was a very light snack. Um, but that's okay. So we're going to go take our bikes and then see where we end up. And we waited 20 minutes to be fair, like, and she said that herself. And she said she'd be 10 minutes and she just never returned. Mm. And now she's yelling at us. We just got massages and by massages we just got punched in the head for 20 or 30 minutes. Good morning. So today we leave Hui An and make our way to Dong Hui. So it's our first train that we're about mm. to catch. I'm very nervous. <laughs> uh, so if we catch this one successfully, I'll book the rest of the trip. If not, this is where the trip ends. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, we've made it to the train station. Um, the train is currently, so when we got here, the train was meant to leave at 10 o'clock and then the sign said 9.50. And then now it's, Changed to 11 and now 11.15. So we're very, well, I'm concerned we're not getting on a train today or anytime soon. I'm not sure what's happened, but let's see. We made it. Yeah, it was, it was a long day. A long, very long, very long day. day. So it ended up being probably 11 hours from when we left this morning to when we arrived at our accommodation tonight. And that was all just on the train listening to dance monkeys <laughs> but we're here now and we're getting picked up to go on a tour in around nine hours now and then our trip just doesn't stop from here on no. so we're very exhausted it was a very long day we got to our accommodation which is just this bedroom um and a bathroom's down the back 
but we went out to she buy... She forgot to tell us that we had... She yeah. forgot to tell us that we had a bathroom. Yeah, we had to ask house. where the bathroom was. Mm. And then we went out to get some dinner. Got attacked by mm. a dog. That was it was so scary. It was just cornered us <laughs> in this dark alley that we're staying in. And then we went to get some sh food, which was only one street food place. Mm. However... There was a little bit of communications issues and it was really hard. Yeah. Really, really yeah. hard. We were both left quite frazzled after Yeah, it. I felt really bad for the uh, people. And we were trying to communicate to each other and it just wasn't going well. Mm. So that was the end of our day. But our this, long, this long day. town's been like, there's heaps of like little kids around where we're staying and yeah um, just on the street all, they just yell out hello to us and stuff like that so they're really friendly in that way or on the train the dad's like yeah. say hi to the aussie girl <laughs> and then the kids cried <laughs> good morning we are off to Bagna <laughs> Fong. Fong. we are off to Fongna caves we just had to get picked up by our tour guide Quick update guys, uh, I died <laughs> and come back to life. Yeah, Josh never made it to the second cave, so I went solo. I'm sure we've already played the footage by now, but he's come back alive. We're still here and we're still meant to be catching this bus tonight. So now we just have like five hours mm. to spare. We went in confirmed that it does exist. And she <laughs> was hesitant, but she came through with a yes. As you can probably tell, we look and feel like shit. The bus ride wasn't great. So last year would have saw we were waiting for the bus and it showed up and then we got put in a tiny little section with three beds and that was us two thankfully and a random person all within maybe a meter and a half room from wall to wall i'll insert a tiny little video of what we got um josh's feet were literally hanging off we both got motion sickness Josh is really sick today. Yeah. It was the worst thing I've, I think, ever done. Quite sick, and he's 
just not well, so we've had to cancel the Hajan loop. Um, we're meant to be leaving on that in about two hours time. So I've had to send an email to them to say we won't be there. We've booked two more nights accommodation here. Ideally, we just want to go home. Like we're not having the time, but we'd have to fly to Ho Chi Minh to fly to Australia. So that's organizing two flights. So we're just going to stay another two nights and just see how Josh goes. He's going to go to the doctors today, but I think he might just hold off a second and see how he goes. And if he's feeling any worse in the coming hours, then we'll go to the doctors. He's alive. Hey. Um, just got this new hat. New hat. Gonna work out in the rice fields tomorrow. Probs not. Um, this was just in our new Airbnb. So this is our new Airbnb. It's the first time we've had a kitchen, bed, lounge. Out the window is really cool. But I thought I'd address something that we haven't yet, which is I didn't know Vietnam didn't use toilet paper. Um, it's come to our attention, or my knowledge, that they just use the bidet. And they've got toilet paper there. Sometimes. In the Airbnbs they do, but when I went, like I've gone in restaurants. Yeah, but you can't flush it down. Yeah, and you're not allowed to flush it. Yeah, so I've been doing it the whole time. <laughs> yeah, the whole time I've been flushing the toilet paper. But this current Airbnb, they messaged me to specify that we don't flush it. And then we've got a little um, sign on the toilet to not flush it. So apparently it's ruining their environment, but I say their plastic waste around here might be... Um, contributing <laughs> a little bit more to that but since Josh has made a recovery yeah. we're gonna go get some dinner and drink lots of water So we're just getting some bun cha, which is um, some grilled pork and uh, some rice noodles with some vegetables. And we get two spring rolls too. Um, so yeah, apparently, I think from what I saw, it's got a Michelin star, but I don't know. Uh, so we just finished our Michelin star rated uh, dinner. It was okay, I guess. But we did get free little donut tea desserts, which are, taste good. Um, and now we're just walking through some markets, getting harassed. Hey guys, so today we're starting the Hanjiang, or well, we're going to the Hanjiang Loo. Um, we're catching a sleeper bus today, so we decided to treat ourselves and get some waffles. He's having waffles and fruit, and I'm having avocado toast, which I think that's a poached egg, but I'm not sure. Because this might be our last meal. Alright guys, we've made it onto our bus. This one's a little bit different, so we've got the and you can put the seat up and down. So we've got... No, thank you. No, thank you. One, two, ten thousand. No, thank you.
over so my driver can go to the toilet so I've just got to face this way to give him some privacy. <laughs> some highs and lows <laughs> um, but it was pretty good and now we have an overnight overnight flight back to Melbourne so thanks for watching guys we've just spent eight or so hours at the airport oh yeah we um, also got to the airport um, I think 10 hours before our <laughs> flight um, so yeah it's been a long day yeah, but we've made it long shift. hopefully we'll sleep well on the plane mm. All right, bye. bye.